Lagoons and backwaters, two water bodies that often get mixed up. Let's clear the confusion. Lagoons are shallow coastal waters, separated from the sea by barriers like reefs or sandbars. They're connected to the ocean through small inlets, creating a mix of salt and fresh water. Picture a calm blue-green expanse behind a sandy strip of land. That's your typical lagoon. These shallow waters let sunlight penetrate easily, supporting rich plant and animal life. Lagoons act as nurseries for many marine species, offering protection from predators and harsh ocean conditions. They're also popular pit stops for migratory birds. Now flip to backwaters. These are parts of rivers where the current slows down or reverses due to obstacles. Unlike lagoons, backwaters are mainly freshwater systems, though some near coasts may feel tidal effects. Think of a quiet river section, branching off from the main flow. Water here moves slowly, creating a peaceful setting. Backwaters often form in low areas next to rivers, sometimes creating sprawling networks of interconnected waterways. Fish love backwaters, using them for spawning and shelter from fast river currents. Plants thrive too. You'll often spot water lilies and lotuses on the surface. In many places, backwaters are key for transport, fishing, and farming. They also help manage floods by acting as natural reservoirs. So what sets them apart? Lagoons form on coasts, influenced by both fresh and salt water. Backwaters develop inland, mainly as offshoots of rivers. Lagoons host a mix of marine and freshwater species, while backwaters primarily support freshwater life. Next time you see a calm water body, look for clues. Is it linked to the sea or branching from a river? This can help you tell if it's a lagoon or backwater. 